This video introduces arthroscopic visualization of the abnormal movement of discoid lateral meniscus with snapping phenomenon. The first case is 13-year-old male. His chief complaint is symptomatic snapping with motion on his right knee. MRI reveals discoid lateral meniscus with horizontal tear. Under general anesthesia, we are able to see and feel an abnormal movement of the meniscus at the anterolateral side with snapping in deflection angle. In addition, as we extend the patient's knee, we confirm snapping again at 20 to 30 degrees of knee flexion. Thereafter, the patient is placed on the supine position with the standard leg holder to allow the full range of motion and the routine arthroscopy is performed by the use of the standard anterolateral and anteromedial portal. It can be confirmed through the anterolateral viewing portal that the posterior horn of the discoid lateral meniscus moves posteriorly and the central portion moves anteriorly with a snapping and deflection angle. On the contrary, as we extend patient's knee slowly, the central portion is returned back to the reduction position accompanied by snapping. Key points are as follows. Do not investigate lateral meniscus with a figure 4 position. We can never confirm the snapping phenomenon in this position. Lateral compressive load is sometimes required. Knee position is changed from standard position to figure 4 position. Anteromedial and anterolateral portals are used for viewing and working, respectively. The central portion is excised using the scissors of 12 cm in length for anterior aspect as shown by white arrow, and the oval punch for middle and posterior aspect of discoid lateral meniscus as shown by black arrow. After partial meniscectomy of center portion is performed, knee position is changed from figure 4 position to standard position. We can see the normal movement of the remaining meniscus without snapping with motion. The second case is 13-year-old male. His chief complaint is symptomatic snapping with motion on his left knee. MRI also reveals discoid lateral meniscus with horizontal tear. In the same way, we can confirm the abnormal movement of discoid lateral meniscus. However, after excision of the central portion of the discoid lateral meniscus, we can see the normal movement of the remaining meniscus without snapping like case 1. 